Now, here to tell us how normal materials can transform sound is Gianluca Mamoli. Hi, Gianluca. So, what is your background and how did you come up with the idea that normal materials can be used to redirect and transform sound? Uh, Richard, actually, I've been working in acoustics for more than 15 years now. But this idea comes from my experience as an amatorial thespian. When I'm directing, say, a pantomime, I can ask my light person, oh, I want a spotlight there, I want light follows to follow a character, but I cannot do that with sound, not, not with a cheap system. And cheap is the key bit when you do, well, <laughs> amatorial theatre. And so uh, I thought, wouldn't it be nice to have a, a do-it-yourself solution that you can put together and get the same effect? We have had that for ages for light. Wouldn't it be nice if we had materials that could do to sound what we do with light, considering that they are both waves? And so you take a normal material, which can be uh, paper or can be plastic or can be uh, metal or wood, and then you add a bit of engineering to it, you mix together, and you get something new. And that's what I do, this new bit. They're called metamaterials, which means beyond the normal materials. Um, are they a new type of material? And How do they work? It's all in the geometry. Uh, you take a material and you sculpt it, sculpt the inside. In a way, you take away materials instead of adding stuff, and what you take away is controls the sound that arrives or goes through and so that eventually a slab of plastic like this one might become a lens. So this is a 3D printed object and you might see that inside there are different holes and each of these holes does something different to the sound that comes from my voice. And actually this one focuses some particular frequencies to the side. So how can this research be applied? If you can get on sound, the same control that you have on light, then you can transform a normal speaker into an audio spotlight. So uh, into a beam which is directed like a lighthouse just to a specific person in a crowd. And then you can talk to that person or uh, listen to that person specifically. Or you can imagine that you can build a, um, a projector that sends sound just to a person that moves, so that we have a small ball of sound here that follows us and we can listen to our uh, private systems without headphones. Or uh, you can imagine if you can uh, control again, you can also shape sound and so go send sound around obstacles, but also you can cancel sound in a very thin um, thickness with very light materials, designing new solutions for controlling noise in our hospitals might be one of the uses for our materials. Thank you, John Luca.